Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. Children, as you all know, we have completed our chapter number 4, Multiplication. Today we are going to start our new chapter, that is chapter number 5, Division. Okay, so children, I welcome you all in a maths video class. So this is your maths video class. We are going to start a new chapter today. So children, today is... 11th August 2021 and this is your maths class, class 3. Okay children, so today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 5, Division. First of all children, in this video we are going to learn about what is the meaning of division and how can we divide the numbers together. Ok children, so first of all we are going to understand what is division children. So the meaning of division is equal distribution equal distribution okay anything any object if we are going to distribute in an equal condition that is called division okay now the meaning of the division is equal distribution okay now we can give another name share equally divide give distribute these are the words which can relate this sentence this word not sentence this is word division this is the meaning of division and the last but not the least which can clear the meaning of division that make group of. Okay, so children first of all we should understand what is the meaning of division. Division's meaning is equal distribution. If we are going to divide anything in an equally part, so that is called equal distribution. Now, division means share, division means divide, division means give, division means distribute. If you are distributing the same thing equally to many children or many people, so this is called distribution, make, to make something or make group of. It means in division, we are going to lay, learn how to make the group. Okay. So, children, let us start the division first of all. And after that, we will learn what are the numbers are called when we are going to divide the number. And what will be answer is called that we are going to learn today, children. So, children, let us start. So, children. First of all, I would like to introduce the symbol of division. S symbol of division is this or slash. These are the symbol of division. When we are draw a line and then we are putting two dots. This is called division and when we are going to slash any number, that is also division or by. Okay children, so these are the symbol of division. Now, here we are going to learn that how can we make a things in a set. Okay, so first of all, when we are going to divide any number, Suppose if we will dividing over here 20 divided by 5. 
so here you can see children 20 is the number of things okay this is the number of things total number of total number of things children okay so if we are here we are going to see over here that is 20 20 is a number of things and how many sets we are going to make that is and how many sets we are going to divide this 20 equal part in 5 so that is called R5 now here this is set this is set the 5 is called set in how many sets this total number is going to divide or we are going to share in the sets so this is set this is total number of uh, thing and this is set how many set we are going to divide this total number in equally okay and if we will see the answer that is a uh, you can see set size this is called set size set size it means these things are going to do we are going to divide in five sets and two set side it means it is going to divide into two sets okay so this is the division when we are going to divide 20 okay 20 in five sets so that time we will get this too okay children so first of all we should understand how to we are going to divide the things equally and in the other word you can say divide division is the repeated subtraction as we have learned in multiplication div, uh, multiplication is repeated addition similarly division is a remit, repeated subtraction okay children when we are going to subtract the things in this uh, five times okay if we are going to 20 uh, subtract five times so that comes in this number so you can say division is uh, uh, repeated subtraction children so children first of all we should understand so what we call these numbers if is 20 is there okay if 20 divided by 5 is written over here and the answer is 2 so what should we call this okay so first of all we should understand what is the div dividend on what is the quotient over here so first of all we should understand so what are the dividend and divisor and quotient okay so here children you can see this is called dividend this is called dividend dividend children this is called dividend and this is divisor okay children this is called divisor and this is quotient the three words we should understand when we are going to do division first of all this is dividend in which number we are going to divide okay so that is called dividend and from which number we are going to divide that is called divisor jo div div division kar raha hai kisi bhi number ko wo kehlata hai uh, divisor and the answer whatever we are going to get after dividend to divisor whatever the answer we will get that is called quotient okay so quotient and dividend and divisor is that clear to you so here you can see the number which are going to divide that is called 
the number which are going to divide that is called dividend dividend and from which number we are going to divide the this dividend that is called divisor and whatever the answer we will get after the division of these two numbers that is called quotient so i hope the children this is clear to you what we call dividend what is the div divisor and what is quotient so first of all this concept i think it is clear to you whenever we are using the term division so you just always remember we are going to do repeated subtraction or we are going to divide the total thing in the equally part okay if the things i am having 20 chocolates so i have to distribute in five people or five girls so i have to be honest and i have to be uh, distribute this in a equal part suppose if i have 20 chocolates so i will going to divide this chocolate equally in five person so if we will do over here so 2 2 2 and 2 okay so these type of the division first we will do 1 1 1 1 1 and then 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then 1 1 1 1 1 1 so here children what we will get so we are going to total number we have to see that it is going to divide into equal part or not so if the equal part is not going to divide so we can't tell this is the division division means we are going to share the things in a equal part nobody will get much or no body will get less so here this is the equal division okay so now children i will going to show you few example for that so how can we divide anything in a equal part okay so here children if i'll take one example of flower vase or flowers so from here you can learn very simply that now one a uh, boy whose name is puneet he has having six flower but the condition is that puneet is having only three vase flower vase so suppose puneet is having six flowers six flowers children now by this example you can able to understand the how to divide these two flowers these six flowers in a three vase flower vase so this is difficult how it is difficult because we are having six flowers and we have to divide in three flower pot or flower vase so how can we divide this so now let's use the term of division over here we are going to put the flower inside this flower pot so how you can learn how we can divide now let's put first one here we are going to put one flower and here again one flower and here again one flower children so here three flowers we have already put inside the flower pot so how many are left children now three are left so again puneet 
want to distribute equally in three flower walls. Again he will put one flower in one vase and then second flower in this vase and the third flower in this third vase. Now children here you can see. Here you can see simply he distribute six flowers in a three flower vase equally. Here you can see three flowers are here. Now two two flower in each flower vase. So this is the concept of equal distribution. It means six are there. So he distributed two two flowers in each flower vase. So here you can see kisi bhi flower vase mein aapko do se zyada nahi milenge. Kyunki yaha pe equal distribution hua hai. So that is showing you the correct example of division. Division ka jo correct example hai yaha pe aapko samaj mein aayega ki yaha pe six flowers the aur teen flower vase the. तो पुनीत ने दो दो फ्लावर्स को पहले उसने वन वन फ्लावर डाले उसके बाद थ्री वन लेफ्ट नाउ अगेन ही पुट वन मोर वन मोर एंड वन मोर सो हियर यू कैन सी इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वाज डन बाय द पुनीत सो हियर चिल्ड्रन यू कैन सी वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस ओके वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस सिक्स divided by 3 now here 6 it means these are the total number of thing total number of things it means children here you can see Puneet was having 6 flowers it means 6 number now the sets how many sets are there 1 2 and 3 because 3 flower was are there so that is why he equally divided into three flower walls. So here when he divided three flower walls what he get? How many set size? Set size kya tha? Do do ka set hai. Dekh lije aap. Yani teen flower walls mein six total number ko jab usne divide kiya to two two ka set aya. To set kya hua? This is 2. Okay. Now I think it is clear to you. Equally division. 6 flowers in a 3 flower was 2 2 ka set banakar. It was equally distributed. So that is how we can do this multiplication. Okay children. So 6 divided by 3 we will get 2 children. Okay, so this is called a division children. Okay, now, now children here you can see this example is showing you there are 25 apples and we have to distribute in 5 students. How can we distribute this? First of all we are going to make a set of apples in a 5 part because there are 5 children. 5 children we have to distribute 5 students in 5 students we have to distribute 25 apples. So how can we distribute first of all we will make that we should arrange first 25 apples in a equal part ok. Now here children you guess you can see I have made 5 5 set or 5 row of 5 5 apples ok so here this is row number 1 1 2 3 now first child will get 1 2 3 4 5 second child will get 1 2 3 4 5 third child will get 1 2 3 4 5 fourth child will get 1 2 3 4 5 and five, fifth number child will get 1 2 3 4 5 it means total apple already divided into 5 children 
फाइव फाइव एपल्स एवरी चाइल्ड विल गेट ओके चिल्ड्रेन सो दिस इज द वे वी कैन डू द डिविजन ओके नाउ चिल्ड्रेन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ द डिविजन इज कॉल्ड रिपीटेड सब्ट्रैक्शन हाउ कैन वी टेल दिस नाउ लेट्स नो दैट हाउ कैन वी डू दिस इन अ रिपीटेड सब्ट्रैक्शन सो सपोज इफ थर्टी फाइव नंबर इज देयर एंड वी हैव टू और यू कैन से दीज आर द ट्वेंटी फाइव नंबर एंड वी हैव टू मल्टी सॉरी सब्ट्रैक्ट फाइव ओके फॉर वन एंड देन अगेन वी विल गेट ट्वेंटी देन हेयर चिल्ड्रेन आफ्टर वी इफ वी आर गोइंग टू मल सॉरी सब्ट्रैक्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव वी विल गेट ट्वेंटी ओके नाउ अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट ट्वेंटी टू ओके सॉरी वी आर गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट अगेन सेकेंड टाइम देन वी विल गेट फिफ्टीन ओके नाउ इफ वी आर गोइंग टू मल सब्ट्रैक्ट फाइव अगेन थ्री टाइम्स वी विल गेट टेन ओके नाउ अगेन इफ वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई ओके माइनस फाइव फोर टाइम्स सो वी विल गेट फाइव सो हेयर चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज द वे वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई ओके सो हेयर वेन वी आर गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव वी विल गेट ट्वेंटी देन ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव वी विल गेट फिफ्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन माइनस फाइव वी विल गेट टेन एंड टेन माइनस फाइव we will get 5 okay so now here fifth time we will get what we will get 5 okay so the answer we will get 5 so now here you can understand how to subtract this 25 minus 5 so equally we will going to dis distribute the things equally and this is the way we can learn that this is the repeated subtraction because 25 is going to multiply by 5 we will get 20 20 is going to multiply uh, going to uh, subtract by 5 we will get 15 and so on so that is how we can learn to subtract okay if we are going to subtract 5 minus 5 so we will get zero children okay so this is how we can do this okay children now children on the basis of that we are going to start our exercise number 5.1 5.1 in this division so first of all here you can see Divide twenty stars into four group. How many are stars are there in each group? Now here, children. First, we will going to divide twenty stars. There are twenty stars, and we have to divide into ah uh, four groups. Four groups. Okay. First of all, we have to. divide these stars in four group so there are group i have made this these boxes or groups you can say in this we are going to divide equally stars now first we are going to
वन 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 सो इधर फोर हो गया थ्री नाउ हेयर अगेन थ्री हेयर ऑल्सो थ्री ओके थ्री थ्री वी हैव डिवाइडेड ट्वेंटी थ्री थ्री सिक्स थ्री नाइन एंड थ्री ट्वेल्व अभी भी ट्वेल्व ही हुए हैं नाउ अगेन वी विल डिवाइड फोर स्टार Now four, four eight, four twelve, and four sixteen. Okay. Now again sixteen. Sixteen we are getting over here. So we have to divide one one more star in these four groups. So one more star if we are going to divide. So I think when we are Okay, so now here you can see twenty star in four group when we are going to divide. So let's start counting five, five ten, five fifteen, five twenty. Now here we have divided this twenty star in four group equally. So now children, if we are going to divide this. in images we have already divide if we are going to divide 20 star in four group we will get 5 similarly you can see over here 5 5 5 5 now if we will do like that 20 we will write over because this is total number okay this is dividend and now 4 is divisor so 4 Fives are twenty. Four fives are twenty. So that is why we are going to write five over here because we have divided these twenty stars in a four group equally. Five is the set size. Okay, five is the set size because five set size in each. sets so that is how we can learn this division so now you just do this 20 divided divided by 4 we will get 5 okay first we can divide this in four group then we can able to understand how can we divide this okay so children completed this first one we have completed Now, children, we will do next question. That is question number two of exercise five point one. The question is: Divide sixteen flowers into eight group. Divide sixteen flowers into Eight groups into eight groups. So first of all, we just going to uh, divide this sixteen flowers, okay, into eight groups. How can we divide? So first of all, we here you can see the question is divide sixteen flowers into eight groups, okay. So here. we have to divide first 16 flowers into eight groups so first we will draw eight groups over here so here 16 flowers first we will draw we are going to put in one group one one flower so now let's count how many flowers are here 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 flowers I have put in a 1-1 one, one group. Now, because 8 is left again, so we will write over here or draw over here one more flower in each group. Okay, now here children we will count 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 to 14 to 16. Now here children we have equally divide, divided these 16 flowers in 8 groups 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It means I have already divided 16 flowers in 8 groups in picture. But how can we divide this in numbers? So here children. 16 divided by 8 or you can do like this 16 divided by 8 so 8 twos are 16 so we will get over here 2 so it will be divided into 2 uh, flowers because if we are going to divide 16 flowers in 8 group so we will make 2 sets of flowers two sets of flower the size of uh, set is 2 ok size of set is 2 we have made 8 set but here the size of the set that flowers is contains 2 so 2 2 2 2 in each 8 groups so here children we will get 2 the answer we will question we will get 2 children so 18 divided by 16 8 divided by 16 we will get 2 over children over here so uh, similarly we will do this also ok complete this now the next one 28 toffees are distributed to 4 students ok children each student got 7 toffees write the division statement now children if the 28 toffees are distributed to 4 students and each student got 7 toffees. So, write the division statement. So, how many toffees uh, they got? Okay. How many toffees are distributed? So, now here children we should uh, divide equally into the proper division. So, we will write the statement also about that. Okay children. So, uh, children, we are going to do this is third number. 28 toffees are distributed to 4 students. Each student got 7 toffees. Write the division statement. We are going to write the divisional statement also. Okay. Now, next one divide by repeated subtraction. Now, next question is based on how can we divide like a repeated subtraction. So, there are few questions that we will do and in the fifth one fill in the placeholders. So, fill in the placeholders. So, we will write the correct place or correct number in the placeholder gap. So, children we will do in our next video these questions and we will complete these questions. So, I think your third one you can write yourself. 28 toffees are distributed to 4 students, each student got 7 toffees, write the division statement because number, question, dividend and divisor is already given, you have to write only a statement. So, this question you will do yourself children. Now, number 4 we will do in our next video. So, children revise this, this is the new chapter for you, no con new concept for you. So, learn this practice it how to we are going to uh, divide in equally okay so children uh, in our next video we will meet again till then bye bye and take care